So are you wondering what this sensor is on the new iPhone 12s right underneath the power button? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down what Apple didn't tell you about the side sensor on the new iPhones. Hey there, Sergio here with another video. And in this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials. So if you're interested in videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified so you don't miss out on my future videos. All right, so you may be wondering, what's that sensor on the side of the iPhone 12? Well, that sensor is something that Apple installed on your iPhone that will make you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Gotcha. That sensor is actually a 5G millimeter wave antenna window, and it's exclusive to only US model iPhones. So Apple released four new models of the iPhone 12s this year, the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. All of them bringing the 5G millimeter wave antenna window, but only here in the US. iPhone 12 models released in other countries are not bringing this antenna window. As we have seen online pictures of the iPhone 12 models released in other countries, missing that side sensor right there. So what it is, it's pretty much just a window to be able to receive better signal for the 5G millimeter waves. And it looks like Apple designed it to stand out a little bit on the side of your iPhone so that you can notice it and avoid covering it with your fingers and receive better signal strength when holding your iPhone. So I'm actually not sure yet why the iPhone 12 is not including this millimeter wave window on iPhone 12s in the rest of the world, but that's gonna be a good topic for a future video. So there's a couple other things I want to tell you you about 5G connectivity for the new iPhones. So there's two types of 5G connectivity. One is the low band class of 5G and then the other is the millimeter wave 5G, which is the faster of the two. So the 5G that uses the higher bands and higher frequency is ultra fast with its connectivity, but the signal is also ultra short range. So research online is showing that to receive optimum 5G millimeter wave signal, you have to be no farther than about a block from a 5G reception tower. Now this is very unlikely like the lower band 5G, which is six gigahertz or below, which is more long range. So if you live in a big city, you'll have better chances of being able to connect to that 5G millimeter wave technology. However, if you live in more rural areas, you're gonna have to stick to the lower band 5G. Another thing about 5G millimeter wave technology is that it can be obstructed very easily by doors, windows, trees, and walls. So that's why it requires so many 5G towers being installed in areas where that 5G millimeter wave spectrum wants to be used. So either way, 5G millimeter wave technology is still very new. And even though the new iPhones do have the 5G millimeter wave window here and will receive that ultra fast 5G millimeter wave connectivity, it's not something that most of us are actually gonna use at the moment because of everything that is needed to be able to connect to that ultra fast 5G spectrum. So that's what that side sensor is on the side of the new iPhone 12s. Go ahead and give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm as it helps out the video to get it out to more people and it helps me out. And stay tuned for the next video, which is gonna be testing out the actual 5G speeds in real life situations of the new iPhone 12s. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.